Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 10th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Always starting out here looking at our fantastic sun, as we still have that large plasma prominence erecting from the surface in southwest position. As well, we had a couple C-class solar flares to show here. Bright flashes on our sun and about six Earth-facing sunspots. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, closer look at that solar prominence. As I said yesterday, standing about 8 to 10 Earths tall. And there's another one just whipping around just beside it. Looking at outgoing, we do have a couple plasma filaments, the darker lined regions on the right-hand side. Watch for some interaction and a little lift just in the last few images. That's going to be a big plasma eruption. Closer look here at the most recent C-class solar flares and as well noting out that solar prominence. Bright flashes northwest and as well northeast. And then equatorial region. And then in the last few images, watching that plasma filament lift. Looking at multi-spectrum here, you can see all of the events. And sunspot regions, six sunspot regions right now. One of them very large in the southern hemisphere. Long lines, plasma filaments. Getting ready for some interaction. 171 angstroms here. Just amazing view of our sun. Able to see our heliosphere in action. And as well, all of the plasma loops. Just amazing to be able to witness all of this technology providing these views for us. Living in some amazing times. And truly grateful to have you all here and a part of this family along this epic journey. Space weather conditions, zero. We are in low space weather conditions, sitting at 395 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux, as I said, saw two strong C-class solar flares today. Proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity sitting at KP2 to 3. Real-time solar wind, we are up to about 460 kilometers per second today. A couple hops up but mainly streamlined around 400 kilometers per second. Expecting some space weather here over the next couple days. Let's have a look at our magnetosphere. This is our pressure planes. This is the last six hours of imagery. Into March 10th. And then here is our solar winds. Darker orange is a stronger wind. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing a CME taking off from our sun. Set to give us a glancing blow possibly with this incoming solar stream. As that will be arriving 12th into the 13th of March. And then we've got a lot of interactions here with Stereo A and Bepi Satellite. LASCO 2 imagery here. This is the last 48 hours of imagery. Showing that halo CME from the backside. Large explosion on the back side of the sun. And then here is that CME that took off in an outward fashion. On the right-hand side, right there, that was the most recent CME. Schumann resonance for today, power of 18. Quick look at the telemetry. Power of 18, frequency max 8.4, quality 11.1. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we had some very deep earthquakes here. Fiji region, it was quiet yesterday, but not today. 4.6, 530, 4.8, 568 kilometer depth, as well as 4.5, 404 kilometer depth. Kermadec Islands towards northern New Zealand. Papua New Guinea, 5.0 at Kokopo. As well, a 4.6 here, Bonin Islands region, 464 kilometer depth. So four very large deep earthquakes today. 4.9, 4.5, moving up into Russia. 
And then we look at this earthquake swarm still continuing at the Tanaga volcano as it has been raised to an orange alert level. Looking at over 2,000 earthquakes just in this view right now. And a 1,000 of them have been in the past 48 hours since it was updated March 9th. So keeping an eye on that. And it may have erupted already because we're seeing huge plumes of SO2 across the Northern Hemisphere. Get right back to that in just a moment. Overlooking United States, we did have pretty strong earthquakes here. Colorado, Secundo, 4.3, and as well a 4.3. Colorado, 3.5, kind of swarming through the region. And west of there, Rico, Colorado, 3.6. 3.4 earthquake here, Ferndale, California. No other major swarms to talk about across the United States. Quiet through Hawaii. And then we get to Colombia, Jordan, Colombia 5.4, and as well Pizarro, Colombia 5.0. Quiet through San Antonio, Puerto Rico. Quiet South America. Zero earthquakes, really? 24 hour period? Something's brewing, folks. Something is brewing. And for the first time in possibly weeks, only one earthquake to report over the Turkey area since those large earthquakes a couple weeks ago. That was a look at the last 24 hours. Give you a quick glance at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. And take a moment right now to thank you all for watching. I appreciate you choosing daily events worldwide to stay aware and prepared to all daily events. Space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Most notably recently, world weather, as we have some strange occurrences across the world, especially with this now longest living cyclone, Freddy, in South Africa. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery, and as well noting the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Over 200 active hazards on this map right now. We're going to start out here with... The most recent uh, Semeru volcano in Indonesia, as well Dekono in Indonesia, Nevada's Deruas, Colombia. Lots of flood alerts through Mexico, South America, Australia, Swiss and Ajima in Japan. Many flood alerts here. Popopocatito in Mexico, huge plume coming from that. Krakatoa, Indonesia, Sabinkaya in Peru. So that's about nine volcanoes getting updated today. Quick look here at our SO2 forecast for the next few days as we have been inundated across the northern hemisphere right now. I'm not sure what blue. I wasn't looking at this for a couple days and then all of a sudden, boom. And across the west coast there through BC, Massive plume coming out of there. Got to wonder what happened through BC. As well through central Mexico. Overlooking the rest of the world. For SO2. These are emissions coming from volcanoes. And we have an active and erupting 47 volcanoes across the world. Another quick glance here overlooking the Atlantic. As you can see, plumes coming out of Africa. And as well, pretty big plume coming out of Etna through Italy. Large low pressure system there over the Atlantic. Atmospheric river through the Pacific. Now penetrating the California coastline and inward. Mixing up with the Alberta Clipper that's affecting Ontario right now. And here is the track of Cyclone Freddy who has been spinning since February 6th. We are now February, or March 10th. So literally that thing's been spinning for 36 days now. And just look at the path that it has made as it crossed Madagascar a little while ago, hit the coast of South Africa, went back to Madagascar, and then back up to Zambia long trek and it turned into a category five cyclone twice those little red icons there 
Amazing stuff. Strange days. Pretty cloudy conditions across Europe. Give you a quick glance here at world weather forecast precipitation models here brought to you by windy.com. Do have a pretty big system developing towards the first day of spring. Watch for extreme weather through the United States Monday into Tuesday, northeast regions. And then look at this big system here develop for springtime. That's going to be a big mixed bag of precipitation, strong winds. Looks like two low pressure systems might be wrapped up in this forecast model. Wow. So heads up right up into the first day of spring. Big low pressure system there through the Atlantic. Overlooking the rest of the world. Watching the track of Cyclone Freddy. And as well, atmospheric rivers stretching off of <clears throat> eastern side of Africa and as well Australia. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to smack that like button. Maybe share with your friends and family. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.